Hi, Hello, everybody. everybody. When I was a kid, I used to come home from school and watch the 430 movie. And films like That Touch of Mink and Let's Make Love and the infamous Sex and the Single Girl. It seemed so obvious to me sitting on the couch with my Campbell's tomato soup and my Ritz crackers that New York offered girls romance and adventure and perfect parking spots. You know, all those Doris Day movies where she would drive into the city for a meeting and she would park that big old Cadillac right in front of the office building, you know, just pull up one little whoosh of the wheel. She was right in, never got a ticket, never got towed. It wasn't realistic, but as a little kid, you know, I was hooked. These comedies are now known as sex comedies, and you know why? Because they contain no, no sex, sex whatsoever. whatsoever. Frankly, there was a lot more erotic tension and glistening flesh during Holy Week, when they would show Ben-Hur and King of Kings and The Robe. But enough about my convent days. The films of the great Billy Wilder offered some more realism and, and cynicism. Films like The Apartment, uh, a sex comedy with sex, though, of course, way off screen. And didn't we all fall in love with nebbishy Jack Lemmon and adorable feisty Shirley MacLaine? Didn't take long till there was a hit Broadway musical based on The Apartment, Promises, Promises, with its great Bacharach David score. And then we all fell in love with that scratchy-voiced Jill O'Hara. All at once, it's no longer eight million people crammed on this island. It's two and their connection, even where they pretend to be through. Are you ready, Miss Kubelik? Shut up and deal. What do you get when you fall in love? A girl with a pin to burst your bubble. That's what you get for all your trouble. I'll never fall in love again.
love with you.